I'm going to show you how to beat the Erdtree Burial Watchdog. You can find this boss right here on the map, Stormfoot Catacombs, right near the start of the game. The start of the game is right here. And then there's the horse boss right there. It's just going to be up there to the north-northwest. You'll find this place right here. You'll come in from, you know, follow the rock wall and just you'll find the entrance. And then down in here, you can find a grace, which is in a convenient spot. Because there's a boss down here, which you already might be familiar with. That's why you're looking this up. And right down here, there's a door that's normally closed. So in order to open this door, you actually have to go run over here. And I'll get to the boss guide in just a second and explain how to beat him. But first, I want to show you how to get, unlock the boss in case you might not have even realized there was a boss in here. So you go here, and there's these flames. You wait for these flames. And then you go this way. And then you got to wait for one more round of flames. And then there's a ladder. Oh, you want to not, not do that. Uh, there's a ladder right over here. And you're going to climb this ladder. Because there's a place, there's a secret ledge that you have to fall onto in order to activate this boss fight. So generally you're going to want to go up here. And you're going to want to aggro these enemies. You could fight them if you want. But also what you can do is you can go down this ladder like this. And they will fall off and then you just climb back up. Might hit you on the way down though. Although that doesn't really fix this one. So it's gonna kill this one. They'll actually climb the ladder, so you have a limited amount of time. They will come back. So you're gonna look down here, and you're gonna walk off like this and fall over into here. And then from here there's a lever. I've already pulled the lever, but you will pull this lever, and it will open a door, and then you'll go down here. And once you pulled that lever, over here will be the boss fight. Now, I've already done it on this recording, but I have the recordings of it that we're going to talk through. So there's only one good way to beat this boss. One easy, simple way to beat this boss. Out of all of his attacks, there's one attack that's unbelievably easy to deal with. And you can actually just run around until he does it. So he'll do this thing where he goes up into the air and then slams down to the ground. Now, in an ideal scenario, you're going to want to run forward and have him land... Uh, right behind you and then just turn around and hit him in the back and then he'll like when he does his attack Sometimes it'll do it once but most of the time he'll tend to go for the attack uh, Like three to four times in a row So he'll go up in there come down and you smack him once or twice And then he, he goes up in the air and you make sure you end up behind him and then uh, he comes down You smack him in the butt like you know one or two times and you repeat that until he's dead and He has other attacks and yeah, you could just fight into it and try to dodge him. The only reason I don't recommend it for this guy is just because his lead up on his swings is so weird. Where he gets, he's still a stone, pun intended, and then just suddenly makes the action with no chance at all to react. So like, the only way to dodge his attacks are actual memorization. You can't really tell based on looking at them. You just have to see every single one enough times to know how long he holds it for before he swings. Because there's no way to know otherwise. I mean, literally, he holds, and then the swing happens in, like, 200 milliseconds, and there's literally, it's physically impossible to dodge. So, what you can do is just run near him and run away and run near him and run away until he uh, uh, goes for the attack that we want, where he goes in there and comes down. And when he does that, you get damage, and you just run around, and you just keep waiting until that... The other thing you gotta watch out for is the fire, and if you want, you can also try to hit him while he breathes fire. When he breathes fire, if you're already close to him when he starts doing it, then you can just rotate around and smack him, and then rotate with him and smack him. But if you're kind of far away, you're not really gonna get that same opportunity, uh, because he does rotate pretty fast. So if you're not already in position, then it's probably not going to happen. Your last freebie hit that you're going to get is he'll stand on his hind legs straight up, just straight standing. And then you can just run away and just kind of be near but stay away. And he will come down with the sword. And afterwards, if you're far enough away where you don't have to dodge roll it, you can just run back in and just like do a dash swing at his leg. And then just run right past him and just keep going. And that's an opening you'll pretty much no matter what be able to get as long as you time it correctly. And that's how to beat the Erdtree Burial Watchdog. He's not really that hard of a boss, honestly, but I figured I'd make the guide anyway, since that's what I do. I, I make guides for stuff. I beat him. I decided to make a guide real fast. It didn't take me too long to make the guide. So one more time, in case you needed to know where he was, it was Stormfoot Catacombs. You want to come fight this guy yourself? That is in relation to the starting area. We come out of that church in the beginning. It's just to the northwest right here, Stormfoot Catacombs. Pretty easy boss. It's mainly just 
he has some really weird swings where he does not telegraph them well. So it's a memorization or just use the tactics I showed you in this video and you'll be able to beat him no problem. Hope this video helped you. If it did, consider subscribing for more Elden Ring guides in the near future and other video game guides in the longer term. Also, I'm gonna play the full boss fight for you since it was a really short boss fight. So if you wanna see what it looks like from beginning to end to actually just go straight through with a club, uh, that's what we're gonna look at right now, okay? So this is the full unedited boss fight of me against the Erdtree Burial Watchdog in Elden Ring.